I want to tell you about one of my favorite art tools and that's the foam brush or I call them sponge brushes. They come in different sizes. They come in one inch, two inch, three inch, and four inch. I like the three inch and I buy them at a hardware store and I think they're designed to be disposable but I use them with acrylic paint and wash them with soap and water. If I do use them for woodworking, for wood varnish, or even to varnish an oil painting, then I probably would throw them out because they would be hard to wash with turpentine. But for acrylic paint, I wash them over and over using soap and water. So I'm going to show you a lot of different ways that I use this brush. It's one of my favorite artist tools. I love these. Um, I always have these. If I don't have a sponge brush, I'm lost. I don't know. I just use them for so many different things. And I wasn't introduced to these in art school. A friend of mine told me about them because she was doing some wood trim and she said if you use a sponge brush or a foam brush, you won't get um, paint brush marks. You won't get brush marks. And I was like, wow, that's a great piece of advice. That's a great tip. Now I use them for everything. I also like to use them to make collage papers and I'm going to show you some different techniques. So stay tuned. The first thing I use them for is getting a flat ground. So making collage paper, sometimes you need just a solid color. I also make lots of solid colors that I later use for marker drawings and mono printing. I have a video about my marker drawings you can watch, and I also have several videos about mono printing. For both of these projects, I love to use my own acrylic painted papers and the sponge brush gets a nice, flat, even color. A lot of times when I'm making collage papers, I mix up several values of a color that are next to each other. And the foam brush or sponge brush works really nice to get very soft transitions between these colors. If you watch my video about making acrylic painting papers for collage, I show you how I do this and make an ombre color from light to dark values. Um, and the foam brush, the sponge brush, just creates these smooth transitions. The other way I like to use it is to create patterns or texture with the tip of the brush. So here I'm loading it with two colors, dipping half of it in the light color and the other half into the dark color. And you can make a very structured pattern or you can make something very freeform. Um, I can go crazy with, the, with this um, technique and make a whole bunch of colored patterns and then I'll go back into it and draw into it with marker. Um, and I just think it's really fun. Another way to make patterns is to put the tip down and spin it. Um, and you get this circle. In the beginning here, I didn't have enough paint on it. And you also can try this with a wet brush. I'm using a dry brush, so I'm getting some very dry markings. But you can play around with this technique as well.
with lots of different patterns in either black or white. And then I use the sponge brush to create a transparent layer over the pattern after it dries. And this creates a two-tone effect. And I have a whole video on this because it works great, like I said, with black or with white and then a transparent layer of color. I'm using golden fluid acrylics mixed with either a little bit of water or a little bit of airbrush medium. I have a video about this two-tone technique that I use that you're seeing here where you take a transparent layer and cover it over white or black for some really fun effects. So if you like this idea, you can check out that video. And here's how I use a sponge brush when I'm mono printing. So I'm covering the whole printing plate, which is a piece of cardboard wrapped with freezer paper, with my sponge brush to get a nice even layer of paint. And then I use different tools to remove areas of the paint and pull a print. And I have several videos um, showing you this mono printing technique with acrylic paint. Before I wash my brush out, I like to use up some of the paint that's in the brush. A sponge brush can hold a lot of paint. So here I'm dipping my brush in the water um, to use up that paint as a transparent layer over this test piece you saw me working on earlier. wash my brush out, I start by just getting all the paint out with the water running, squeezing with my hands. Get as much paint out as you can and then I actually rub soap into the sponge, sponge brush <laughs> and repeat the same process. If you do this, this brush will last a really long time. I know they're supposed to be disposable and they're inexpensive but I like to use them over and over. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. That way you won't miss my next video. Thanks so much.